are at Twin Lakes Tagaytay, one of the most expensive, classy, and European style hotels in Tagaytay, and I'm taking you along on the full experience. Is it worth it? Should you book a stay? Does it live up to the hype? Today we find out. You. You. Savvy expat, so we arrived at Twin Lakes Hotel in Tagaytay, and immediately off the bat, the first thing that I noticed is the classic old style European design to the hotel. Now, as for the lobby, when you walk in, you'll see that straight ahead there is a bar area. For the majority of the part, there's a concierge, and then you have the seating area. And right now, we're currently checking in at the check-in area. But before I give you guys a tour of our room here at Twin Lakes, I am famished. They already have a cafe here at this hotel, so we're gonna try it out and get something to eat for lunch. So we're at Twin Lakes' cafe now and by far the best part about this cafe is the view I have to the right of me. This is the absolute best view you can eat with because you have the mountains of Tagaytay and then across from that you have the all lake and volcano. So spectacular view while eating. The food has arrived and we got a ton of food from the cafe here at Twin Lakes. And actually the portions here, keep in mind this guys, is that it's all sharing portions so it's like American style. Of course, the southern fried chicken. Mm, that's like Popeyes. That was good. I'll take some of this crispy pata, dip in some soy sauce. I was starving, so this is really good. Garlic rice. The chop che, I think that's how you pronounce it. Got a light soy sauce flavor. The noodles are springy, very delicious. Some of that crispy skin. Then we also have to try this gigantic pork belly. Oh yeah. My belly's happy. Good stuff, everything is so good so far. Thank you. Let's try this mocha ice cream. No bueno. Me no gusto. I don't like the mocha ice cream. The food here, very good. The quality is consistent with the food. Dessert, we tried the blueberry cheesecake. We tried the mocha ice cream. Not my favorite. We got the deluxe suite, which is in the medium price range. I highly recommend it because you get a view of the Ta'al Lake and Volcano. We got two of these bad boys because one is for me and my siblings and the other is for my parents. So to the right of you guys, we have the bathroom immediately when you walk in. This comes with all of your basic necessities and then some. So you have the toilet, the shower, the sink and vanity, along with the special part, which is the bathtub. And something that you'll notice about Twin Lakes to Gaitai is that though it has that classic design where it seems older, don't let that fool you because this is still relatively a new development in Hotel in Tagaytay, which you'll notice with the interior. Very updated, high end, and clean cut. Which you can definitely see that in the light fixtures, the glass, the sleek sort of marble used for the walls. Very nice design and overall it feels like you are living good for what you're paying for. 
All right, so stepping outside of the bathroom, come on with me over here. Another thing I want to show you guys is that we also have some closet space as well. So if you have any coats to hang, which by the way, if you're into guy tie and nighttime, you might want to bring with a sweater or something to bundle up. And then moving forward, we also have a mini fridge. For us, we had a lot of leftovers, so we're probably going to need this. As well as some hot water you can use, just your basic simple hotel items. And walking further down our deluxe suite, we have the rest of the room. We also have the king size bed, and across from the king size bed, we have the TV to hang out and relax. And then another thing you'll notice is that you have these two lampstands beside the bed in case you want to read a book or whatnot. And behind the wall, it almost kind of reminds me of like a French sort of chateau. Seems very nice and very classy. Beside that, we have a desk, so if you have any work to do, you can do your work right over here on this desk. And just overall, a simple design as you would expect in a deluxe suite. Boom! And now for the best part of the suite is of course the view. Like I said, I highly recommend that you guys book the deluxe suite because you get this view along with this balcony. The other rooms in Twin Lakes doesn't come with this sort of balcony across from the All Lake and Volcano. So this is probably the most optimal place that you can get a great view. So step outside with me. As you can see, it's a pretty spacious balcony. Now what I like about this balcony is that you get everything within your sight and vision. Below me, you have the vineyard, very beautiful. I don't, I don't think there's any other place in the Philippines that has a vineyard looking like this. And then across from that is the residential properties of Twin Lakes. And then you look further down, you can even see Tagaytay Highlands Golf Course and the mountain scenery just panoramic. You look even further down and you have the all lake and volcano. Let's just hope it doesn't erupt while we're here. Uh, but as you can see, it's a beautiful view and I don't think the camera really does it justice how close this lake is from this view. So gorgeous. And then the last thing we really like about this balcony is that below us, we also have a view of the pool. We're gonna be swimming there in a bit. And so you have this picturesque view beside us of the mountains of Tagaytay. Very cool and breezy up here. Very classy, opulent, extravagant, you name it, it's beautiful. So guys, after the room tour, it got dark immediately. We headed downstairs to check out the game room, the fitness room, and also the heated infinity pool for night swimming. It's a total blast. I didn't get to show you guys that because it was already dark outside. But as for the rest of the night, we headed back upstairs. I'm gonna take a quick shower and just gonna relax and chill out. If you're not a morning person, this is the kind of view that'll make you a morning person because it is absolutely gorgeous. But enough talk, it's time to get changed and get ready for breakfast. All right, we're ready, let's go. I'll have the garlic rice. Uh, a little bit of vegetables, please. I'll try and be healthy, guys. Yes, please. And corned beef. Thank you. Okay, right, appreciate it. Mm. Much needed coffee. Corned beef. So everything is really good. We're gonna finish up our breakfast before heading over to the pool to go swimming. And also I'm gonna show you guys around all the amenities at Twin Lakes. Alright guys, we're in the pool. Check out this view. Look at that. You can see look at Twin Lakes behind me and then right there is the All Lake Volcano and the mountains in the back and the vineyard. Pretty awesome. 
My life is good. Real good. <laughs> but my life is good. Really good. So my little brother and I just finished swimming in that infinity pool, very nice. And now we're gonna go into the game room and just play a game of chess, relax and hang out and just enjoy our time. What I especially like about the chess and game room is that it's got like a cigar lounge type of feel, almost like a man cave. It's very nice. I like the mahogany wood and the dark design of it. So shortly after our game of chess, we checked out of Twin Lakes at 2 p.m. before we headed to breakfast at Antonio's for a meal, which was just nearby. Now I want to briefly go over the price and value of this hotel to determine if it was worth our overnight stay. But as for the price, it costs us $600 per night for two deluxe suites at Twin Lakes Tagaytay. As I mentioned earlier, we had one room for me and my siblings and one for my mom and dad. So for one deluxe suite, it was roughly around $300 per night. Do I feel that it was worth it? Without a doubt. Taking into consideration that we had a phenomenal view of the mountains, the lake, volcano, pool, and the vineyard, the view alone was unforgettable. On top of that, you get access to an infinity edge heated pool so that if you want to go night swimming in Tagaytay, it's still warm despite the cool climate. And we also can't forget the game rooms that included chess and billiards in addition to its cigar room vibe. And lastly, there was also the workout room slash gym that I didn't get to film much of. So all things included, I believe that the price was reasonable, especially considering that the hotel was like a secluded sanctuary. With the hotel being set on top of the mountain ridges of Tagaytay, it was far from the noise and traffic. Needless to say, the experience was extremely peaceful and we felt rejuvenated after our stay. So there you have it, Savvy Expats. That includes our stay at Twin Lakes Hotel. If you want me to review other high-end hotels in the Philippines, give this video a like and let me know down below. And so thank you for watching, Savvy Expats, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.